All right, guys, bear with me. This is going to get a little bit confusing, probably a lot confusing, so I'm going to do my best to explain it. The goal of this video is to explain the functionality, um, the abilities of the new DR2X repeater to be used in an environment of RF linking two different, in this case, analog repeaters. Uh, one repeater itself has DCS for the transmit and the receive. The other one has a tone. I thought that would be problematic and I'm finding out all kinds of amazing capabilities of this repeater. Um, this is just a test setup. This is nothing permanent, but I wanted to explain how it was done. We're gonna go into it first. There's two different um, VFOs or settings to set up. You've got A and B. All right, so in the DR2X, you go into A. Let's set up the first one first. I'm gonna try, so bear with me. The top one, 145270. That repeater, Painesville repeater here, for example, all right, that repeater is the, uh, the output frequency of the repeater. So when you're in your mobile driving around, you turn in your VFO, you turn in the 145270, okay? So what it's gonna do in the A section, it's taking the, the output of the repeater, which is what everybody would hear on 145270, and it's actually feeding it into the input of the repeater that we would try to link it to. But the very interesting part, and sometimes it would assume to be problematic, this repeater transmits a DCS code, very helpful. This repeater, now this is the input of a different repeater that it's linking it to, it actually requires a tone, the DR2, X is able to set separate receive and transmit tone versus DCS and actually even further into it. So if we go into the options signaling, I set it up this way. For example, the receive, okay, so this repeater here is sending out a DCS code. That's the DCS code. See, I only had to set that side, okay? So that is what I wanted it to be able to hear on this one. Now the other repeater, like I said, uses a tone. The bottom one that I'm trying to link to requires a tone of 85.4 to get into. You can set them separately, as you see right here. You can do receive is set to DCS, so whatever's coming out of this repeater. Transmit, whatever goes and feeds that other repeater, is set to a tone. All right, so we've got half of it set up. Tested it, it worked. So I thought, okay, let's go back. Let's go up to B. Now, how do we set it up? So on the other one, we set it up to take from the one repeater out in Painesville and take all that, whatever that repeater's putting out and put it into the input, right? So let's go into B, the other way around, the other half of the picture. Again, I apologize, this might be confusing. Now, if you look right here, this is the output frequency of the other repeater, 147345. So in this case, we set it up the same, but just inverted. So we've got the input frequency. So whatever comes from that other analog repeater, we take that and what it does is it repeats it. But what it does when it repeats it, you can set it individually to go to the input frequency of the other repeater. I know I'm saying that a lot because I can't toggle without getting two, you know, my fingers in the way here. So in this case, if we go back like we did in the other one, this repeater, like I mentioned previously, requires a tone. Well, look at this, you can set it. So if you rewind in the video and you can see it, the receive, so this will open up when it receives a tone and it'll transmit the DCS. Well, the DCS code is what the other repeater requires. See how that kind of works back and forth? So again, if we go into signaling, you can set them up. And I only did half of it because I didn't need to set both sides. So in this case, this repeater requires you for you to hear it in 85.4 tone. That opens up the squelch and then transmits this, the DCS of 172 to the other. And actually works quite well. Again, it's not the purpose of this repeater. It's going to be put into digital, but I was curious if it was capable because this discussion has come up and I haven't seen it done. I hope it's not too confusing, but just another reason, amazing piece of hardware. I think there'll be a couple more on the way. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I'll try to answer it. Take care.